everybody. Fresh crab, the signature item at this eatery in the city's famed Fisherman's Wharf, but this year is different. Can you recall a situation where you have not been able to get California crab? Not because of this reason. There's been strikes and there's been bad weather and there's been problems with fish, but never because of uh, an algae. You know, this is something new to us. Algae has forced state wildlife officials to suspend the start of the Dungeness crab fishing season, always slated for the middle of November. The algae is producing the toxin demoic acid that gets caught in the food web, eventually making its way to the crabs. If the infected crabs are eaten by humans, they could pose serious health problems. Demoic acid can be fatal. And it targets a specific part of the brain that can cause brain damage, seizures, coma in, our, in marine mammals, but also in humans. It's all part of an algae bloom fueled by rising temperatures in the water known as El Nino. Blooms are common, but scientists say this is the largest and most persistent one they've seen in 15 years. It's already had a huge impact on sea lions. More than 200 sickened animals treated at the Marine Mammal Center outside of the city. Dr. Claire Simeone, a veterinarian here, estimates that 80% of them have died. The magnitude that we're seeing, the number of cases, and just the persistence um, throughout the whole year is unprecedented for us. Unprecedented as well for crab fishermen whose boats and traps are sitting idle. What's the economic impact to people like you? Well, uh, uh, last year, you know, November 15th, I'm making a living. This year, November 15th, I'm not making a living. So I guess I have 100% less income than I did last year. What do you make of this postponement? A disaster. Brett Smalley is headed back to his native Oregon. No crab means no paycheck. It's like gambling in a way, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. If you get anything at all, you know, we lost this time, it looks like. Now, crab is to San Francisco what lobster is to Maine. It's part of the culture and heritage. Now, you can still get them at the famous Fisherman's Wharf, except these guys, they're from Washington. Scientists anticipate the toxin levels will decline. The question, though, is when. Crab samples are repeatedly being collected. But until the fishing begins, it will be a difficult time for all who depend on these California crustaceans.